Right, sort of it. Right, it's exciting, isn't it? What's that? Working with the big blue screen. Oh, aye, exciting, aye. Shoot me. Oh, cheery. Right, Ronald, are you ready to go? Yes, I am. Just saying it's exciting, it's all exciting, isn't it? What, what's exciting? Working with blue screen. Do you know how it works? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, yes. You put in the war, and all the mayhem and the blood and the guts and the tanks and the Germans are not later. Tell you what, don't concern yourself with the blue screen. Right. Right. Do you know your scripts? Of course I do, I'm not an idiot. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Right. Right, just... And action. Okay. Uh, it's come to my attention uh, that you could be paying too much for car insurance. <laughs> With our instant clothes, you can stand at ease. So call the Colonel on 0141 229 5 That's my phone number. <laughs> uh, so yeah, call the Colonel on 0800. Cut! A couple of things, Ronald. Well, it's just a couple, that's not bad, is it? Yeah, well, number one, you're a little nervous, just relax. Oh, Secondly, nervous. Oh, yeah. did you pick the phone up? Oh, the phone, right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Supposed to have the phone in your hand. Wait, man, I thought you said it was going to get put in a blue screen. <laughs> no, no, mate. No, you got to, that's a prop phone and you've got to have it in your hand. We're not going to blue screen the phone in. You can't do that, mate. The blue screen's just for the background. Right, OK, and then you put in the war and the tragedy and you know, the dilemma of war. What are you talking about? It's, there's, there's no war. It's an office behind you. Just an office. <laughs> Come on, pick your phone up. Yeah, can we go again? Yeah, OK. Right, OK. Call the Colonel. Call the Colonel. Pick your phone up. Action! <clears throat> it's come to my attention. That you could be paying uh, too much on car insurance with our instant quotes. You can stand at ease. So call the corporal. Colonel! Call the colonel, call the colonel, call the colonel corporal. Call Keep him. going. Right, call him free on. on. 0800 <laughs> 10. Cats, what are you doing? So I've actually not got my contact lenses and that number's tiny, you can hardly read that. Give me the stick. Give me the stick. Come on, man. Like we did in rehearsals, right, yeah? Okay, right. You pick the phone up, you say. Call now on 0800 10 10 10. You put the phone one, down. One down. Are you listening, you yeah, horrible listening. people? Yeah, horrible Call now people. on 0800 right. 10, 10, 10 10 10. Shut right. up with a hand. Right. Come on, mate, we rehearse this. Yes, yeah, sorry. Don't need to shout. Go again. Right, okay. <laughs> right, you want me to start now? Right, OK. In action. Right. There's no war. Right, the war's over. <laughs> so, call the... Call the corporal. I've got it, so okay, don't panic. <laughs> Call the corporal, free on 0800 10 10 10. One corner! Call the corporal on 0800 0800 10 10. Attention! 10 10 tension! It's 10 10. 10 10 10 tension! Tension! <laughs> corporal. Cut! That was fantastic, Ronald. Just go to wardrobe and get your costume off. So I made it again because. No, of no, that. that was wonderful. Attention! Thank you! Thank you, it's been great. At ease. Thank you. Attention. As soon as he's off the studio, call his agency. Thank you. Everybody's ready. Just into the lounge, Your Majesty. Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, Michael. Michael. Michael, you OK? Who mm. did this to you? Michael. Leave this to my spectacular, unstoppable nipple whistle power. Whistle? <laughs> Whistle? <laughs> These vagabonds are all the same, officer. One twist of the nipple and they lose their ability to whistle. Come on, join in. <laughs> I'll bring the food. Here, man. I've um, marked it on the menu, Dad. Hello? Golden Orient. I'd like a delivery. Uh-huh. Five Orchid Avenue. One cocktail. Peking duck. Banana fritter. And uh, my daughter will have... Sweet and sour chicken. <laughs> crispy spring rolls. Fried rice. <laughs> chips. Corn crackers. And a raspberry sundae. <laughs> Uh, the name of the buzzer, Simpson. <laughs> Thanks.
caught this place, man. What a dump. Weaver. Whiskey, my man. Only whiskey. Excellent. Right, boss. Five is up. Two bells. You gotta go to the church if you want some bells. <laughs> <laughs> You're a funny bastard, aren't you? You should be in a comic. Fatty. This one's in me. Good. Whiskies. Mental. Why is that paraffin? Are you ripping the piss? That'll be the red eye. Okay. You're a red eye, you dick. <laughs> Here, you mate. Where'd you get your clothes? Clothes? Gotta go across the street if you want some clothes, English. <laughs> Do you look English? I thought. Never mind what you thought, you're right. Do we sound English? Did you hear us saying how it now with a brown cow? Hold on a sec. Hold on. Shut up! Rat that pish the new. We are for Glasgow. Glasgow. <laughs> and so far, your tunes shite. Yeah. Okay, well then. Morning, Master McDonald. Morning. It's never too early for a fusilier. <laughs> Is there a problem here? Big man, I didn't realise it was you. Do you realise you've kept me late for my Tai Chi class, Fanny Boys? Well, the thing is, big man, I'm on uh, speeding duty this week and... Well, you're speeding. You'd be speeding or not if you thought you had the chance of having had your twat with the two twins that run the club. Or maybe you can't appreciate the real needs of a real man because all you've got between your legs is a wee baldy half-inch maggot. You see, you're the kind of guy that shares his bed with a Pringles tube full of liver. The kind of guy that looks at his electric toothbrush in the morning and wishes his asshole had teeth. Oh, big man, I'm only trying to do my job. If I was to try to get into the Tai Chi frame of mind, I would get out this motor and slap the three hairs you've got in your boys right after them. Here's a notion. Why don't I let you go? That's a great idea. Oh, nice. That is the big man's daughter's boyfriend who's tied up in the boot because the big man caught the big man's daughter's boyfriend in the big man's bed wearing the big man's daughter's knickers like a balaclava. I'm going to kill him and throw him in the clyde. Now, can I go? <laughs> Have a nice day. Qu'est-ce que vous voulez? Faut du jeu, madame, s'il vous plaît. Et moi aussi, on suit du jeu. Ah, c'est déjà. Ah, pour moi, les pork pies. Ah, oh là là, les pork pies. Je travaille pour les pork pies. Tu l'as dit, I'm a slave. Tu vas ma pork pie. No, 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 no. Feet. Oh, <laughs> I feet. feet. I. Oh, get your wee shoes off. Let me out those tootsies. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, see mine. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Are these piggies? Mm, for me, the piggies. Piggies. <laughs> <Like it's, laughs> <it> feet. 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 Come on. You'd be better off telling us. I'm telling you nothing. Well, you better start talking. Or you're going to be getting some of this. Stand aside, gentlemen. I believe this calls for my spectacular nipple powers. <laughs> Whistle. Whistle. Come on, everyone. <laughs> All right, that was me. I did it. <laughs> These are crackers, mate. Well comfy. Aye, totally. Here, who makes these, mate? I did, son. 
have done for the past five years. F.W. Nike. Got a storm cold to see too. Nike boots. Excellent. Aye. Much. Three dollars a pair. Do you hear that, Colso? Three dollarinos. Top onions. Now that, mate. You're a good guy. Here, Colso. Plump this. I'm a cowboy. Poo the mood. I'm going to shoot me some engines in there. Here, mate. Where can we get jackets and that? You gotta go two doors down. Fella makes some fine jackets and some trousers to go with them. Goes by the name of Kappa. George W. Kappa. <laughs> Come on, we'll get ourselves some Kappa. Kappa! Kappa! <laughs> and how are my two wee studs getting on? Are you finished with those reports yet? Just about, Greta. Well, there'll be a very special prize in it for the one that finishes first. <laughs> very special. <laughs> What's wrong, Tony? Do you not like my hairy lip? You feel threatened by me because of my big moustache, eh? Uh, no, not at all, sir, uh, Greta. Um, I was uh, just trying to finish this off. You can call me, sir, if you like, Tony. I like that. I bet you just uh, sit here all day at your wee desk and you dream about shaving me. <laughs> I want those reports finished by first class. Um, Greta, I'll, I'll need reports from accounts before I can finish. You know, Alec, what I think you're really worried about is the fact that you've only ever managed to produce wee wisps of candy floss in your face. You've never actually grown a decent moustache. <laughs> Here, wait a minute. Feel this. <laughs> a wee... Taste of paradise for you. <laughs> now get your heads down and get on. What are you having your tea, a biscuit? Aye, man. Jesus! <laughs> are they mad biscuits? <laughs> Pure hunters of biscuits, man. These bastards must be loaded, eh? Aye, man. Big, bloated, biscuited up bastards. Right, what's it going to be? Tea cake? Cookies? Penguin? I don't know, man. Too many choices, too many options. Aye. It's mad, isn't it, the names they call biscuits? Aye, man. Yo-yos? Clubs? Breakaways? Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> the bands? Blue? Baldy? Gary? Creams? Custard? Creams? Gypsy? Nuts? Ginger? Dodgers? Jammy? Biscuits? Empire? Wheels? Wagon? Logs? Caramel? Faces? Happy? Tea? Rich? Hobbs, no. Delight, Turkish. <laughs> you took that too far. <laughs> and although the statements on the front of the shirts are bold, uh, research tells us that the kids and the teenagers are quite happy to wear quirky, risky, if you like, branding. Do you have kids? No. Right. Well, I have two, and I can honestly say that I would let either one of them wear this merchandise. Gentlemen, your research may prove right, but, uh, there's no way this company could stand behind this type of product. Milk, lemonade, chocolate. Milk, lemonade, chocolate. Milk, lemonade, chocolate. Hey, Tiger. What's that you're making? Spitfire. Ooh, the Spitfire, eh? That's the daddy of them all, the Spitfire. Rolls Royce engines in there, too. What's your favourite? I stuck a dive bomber. Is it? A Stuka, eh? Yeah, I could tell you a thing or two about a Stuka. And then you'd have to be marching for La Havre to Treason to really appreciate it. See the noise it used to make? It was a low buzzing way up in the air. Then nothing. Then it would get into a dive and start to make a high pitched whine, like a baby crying, you know. And then nothing. Then you had to guess when the bomb was going to drop, whereabouts. What a bang. I had a pal, Brian Thompson. <laughs> Me and him were tight, good pals. We're like brothers, you know. Coming off the bridge one day, the shout goes out, the Stuka. We take cover, we all run into a ditch. Myself, Brian about 25 other fellas. 
Then the noise came. Then nothing. Then a high pitched whine. And bang! Blood and guts and things you should never have to see. Most of the end of my foot that day. I turned round and Brian was half done too. Looking at me as if it was my fault. Bloody waste. That's a sticker for you. Ah, takes this, Brian Thompson. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alamama's ready to roll. Mine's already on the back of the hog. Okay, angels. Let's hit the highway to hell. <laughs> oh, God, even biker band. Oh, James, kill me. Do the light. Oh. And so, if you see or hear of anybody carrying knives in school, or indeed any other dangerous weapon, it's absolutely vital that you speak to a teacher immediately. <laughs> the overriding factor, of course, being that you uh, could save someone from a very serious injury. Thanks for your time. Oh, thank you, officer. <laughs> that was absolutely wonderful, wasn't it, class? I, I could have listened to you talking about people maiming each other all day and all night too, for that matter. Everybody, a round of applause for the officer. Oh, no, that's not necessary. Come on now, everyone. A nice big clap for the tall policeman. <laughs> now, if you ever want to pop in and visit me again, I would love... Well, we would all love that. <laughs> you could come in and we'll talk about, I don't know, drug overdoses or something like that. Wouldn't that be nice, class? Thank you for your time, Miss Gourley. I really must be getting along. Call me Isabel. Miss, can I call you Isabel? Shut it, Kenneth. <laughs> you can take that stupid smirk off your dirty face as well. Miss, you pure fancied him. Oh, a fun skull, dear. I would, would ever give you that impression. Not that it's accurate. It was obvious, Miss. You were like a wee puppy. A puppy? <laughs> you! Tracy Snedden, let me assure you that if there is a dog in this classroom, then it's... <laughs> I won't finish that sentence. Anyway, he's a married man. How do you know he's married, miss? I happened to catch a glimpse of his wedding ring. I'm sure he's very happy. So there'll be no point in me even... Look, I'm not even <laughs> remotely interested, OK? Just do your work. Miss, you don't have a wedding ring, do you? No. No, I don't. But I, I'm not really bothered. Um, my, my skin reacts quite badly to, to gold, so uh, a wedding ring would just turn my finger green. Miss, when my mum caught me in my room with my big sister's pal, she told me that my finger would turn green. It didn't stop. That's right enough! Here we are, Alistair, right outside the infamous Killiclunky Jail. And quite the terrifying place it is too, Dory. <laughs> of course, Killiclunky Jail is best known for one of its more famous residents. That's right, one James Bolton, the third Earl of Cumberland, spent the last 30 years of his life in this very cell. For 20 hours a day, he was chained to these very walls. And they say that on the coldest of nights, you can still hear the ghost of Bolton rattling his chains. Oh, very scary, Alistair, <laughs> I must say. And you know, they also say, if you remain quiet, you can almost still hear the slamming of the cell doors. Lift <laughs> <laughs> your banjos up, you couple of fannies! <laughs> you know you're bloody sniggering at? You're stuck in here as well, you know. Yeah. What's the matter, <laughs> Do you not like me trimming my moustache over the top of you, eh? No, it's, um, it's fine, let up. Here's an idea for you. Why don't you pick up the wee hairs, put them in a bag? You can stick them onto your lip later on when you get home. I won't tell anybody, I promise you. No, no, you're fine, Greta, thanks. Yeah, let me. Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> you look like a big boy now with that wee moustache. Look, sir, uh, <clears throat> I mean, Greta, um, I'd like to finish this off, please. Listen, Tony, I've told you, you can call me, sir, if you like. I love it. <laughs> look, look at your wee fingers. They're all shaking. Come here, baby. Come on. There. There, eh? How's that feel? Nice and warm, eh? I bet you wish you were a big enough boy to grow a moustache like this, eh? <laughs> Carry on. Hey ho, it's your cell, Jack. You want a cup of tea, the new? <laughs> what the hell's the matter with you? Bloody Prozac ran out. Ah, nothing the matter with me. You want a cup? Aye. Up on the hill, the lonely god, you're dead. Yeah. Why's that television on? It's four o'clock. We should be watching 15 to 1 here. You'll know soon enough for it's four o'clock. It is four o'clock. This watch never lets me down. <clears throat> that just may be, Jack, but is your watch Swiss made? No, it's a Timex. It's for here. For here, not Switzerland, then. There you are, my wee pal, thanking you. Now it's four o'clock. Aye, very good, Victor. A brand new cuckoo clock. You must be chuffed. Yes, my son got it for me. Swiss made. Keeps Swiss time. In Switzerland. Oh. So your son went all the way out to Switzerland and he thought he'd bring you back. Hold the front page. A cuckoo clock. What an imagination that boy possesses. <laughs> Why, he really should write novels. <laughs> Where are you? Yes, you're definitely a shade of green. Shut up. Jealous. That'll be right. Jealous I want a daft cuckoo clock. All the time with the bloody time. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. Drive you off your bloody heater thing like that. Make it go again. <laughs> you can. Come on, you just force the hands out of five. <laughs> now you listen to me, Jack. This is horn made. It's an intricate, Swiss-engineered, precision timepiece. It's no meant for your fat, impatient horn to force the time room. Ah, pish. I want to see the bird. <laughs> so do I. But the pleasure's in the waiting. The bird is a reward. Well, I want my reward. Now let me see the bird. The bird is not coming out, Jack. However, it will be making a brief appearance at half past and a full show of five cuckoos at dawn. Let me guess, at exactly five o'clock. And not one minute before. It's not a performing monkey. That bird is handcrafted for occasional outings. <laughs> the bird is resting, Jack. Victor, you talked about that bird as if it was a real bloody bird. You better put some paper down, because it might be splattering its business all over the <laughs> Swiss mechanism just now. Oh, ho, very funny, Jack. Very droll. And if you knew anything about the Swiss, you'd show them a little more respect. You see, the Swiss do not enter into anything half-heartedly. They are diligent, they are industrious, they are known the world over for... <laughs> oh, it's exactly four minutes past. <laughs> Lump of shite. What's <laughs> <laughs> iron? Hey, that's enough. Look at that talent, will you? For fuck's sake. Isn't it? What's that? Working with the big blue screen. Oh, aye. Exciting, aye. Shoot me. Oh, cheery. Right, Ronald, are you ready to go? Yes, I am. Just saying it's exciting. It's all exciting, isn't it? What, what's exciting? Working with blue screen. Do you know how it works? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, yes. You put in the war and all the mayhem and the blood and the guts and the tanks and the Germans are not later. Tell you what, don't concern yourself with the blue screen. Right. right. Do you know your scripts? Of course I do. I'm not an idiot. Right. You go for one, then. Yes, absolutely. Right. Right, just... And action. Okay. Uh, it's come to my attention. Uh, that you could be paying too much for car insurance. With our instant clothes, you can stand at ease. So call the Colonel on 0141 229 5... Wait a minute, that's my phone number. <laughs> I swear, call the Colonel on 0800... Cut! 
A couple of things, Ronald. Well, so just a couple, that's not bad, is it? Yeah, well, number one, you're a little nervous, just relax. Oh, Secondly, nervous. Oh, yeah. did you pick the phone up? Oh, the phone, right. Yeah, yeah. You're supposed are. to have the phone in your hand. Oh, man, I thought you said it was going to get put on a blue screen. <laughs> no, no, mate. No, you got to, that's a prop phone and you've got to have it in your hand. We're not going to blue screen the phone in. You can't do that, mate. The blue screen's just for the background. Right, OK, and then you put in the war and the tragedy and all the dilemma of war. What are you talking about? It's, there's, there's no war, it's an office behind you. Just an office. Come on, we pick your phone up. Yeah, can we go again? Yeah, okay. Right, okay. Call the colonel. Call the colonel. Pick your phone up. Action! <clears throat> it's come to my attention that you could be paying uh, too much on car insurance. With our instant quotes, you can stand at ease. So call the corporal. Colonel! Call the colonel. Call the colonel. Co call the colonel corporal. Call Keep him. going. Right, call him free on... on... 0800. <laughs> One oh. Cats, what are you doing? So I've actually not got my contact lenses and that number's tiny, you can hardly read that. Give me the stick. Give me the stick. Come on, man. Like we did in rehearsals, right, yeah? Okay, right. You pick the phone up, you say. Call now on 0800 right. 10, 10, 10 10. You put the phone one, down. One down. Are you listening, you You're horrible listening. people? Horrible Call now people. on 0800 right. 10, 10, 10, 10. 10. Shut right. up with a hand. Right. Come on, mate, we rehearse this. Yeah, sorry. Don't need a shout. Go again. Right, <laughs> <laughs> right you want me to start now? Right, OK. Connection. Right, there's no war. Right, the war's over. <coughs> so, call the... Call the corporal. I've got it, it's OK, don't panic. <laughs> call the corporal. Free on 0800 10 10 10. What corner? Call the corporal on 0800... 0800 10 10. Attention! 10 10 10 10! 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 that was fantastic, Ronald. Just go to wardrobe and get your costume off. Do you want me to do it again? Because no, I... no, that was wonderful. Attention. Thank you. Thank you, it's been great. At ease. Thank you. Attention. As soon as he's off the studio, call his agency. Thank you. Everybody's ready. Just into the lounge, Your Majesty. Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God, Michael. Michael, Michael, you OK? Who mm. did this to you? Michael. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 hey, 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 that's enough. You're obviously pissed. Move on. Yeah, I'm doing right here. I drink a soda. Move on. You're outside the church. Move on. Oh, nippy, eh? Move on. Don't start your rubbish with me. Now, move on. Come on, now. No. Thank God you're here, Captain Nipple Whistle. This drunk man's refusing to move on. Leave this to my spectacular, unstoppable nipple whistle power. <laughs> whistle? <laughs> whistle? <laughs> These vagabonds are all the same, officer. One twist of the nipple and they lose their ability to whistle. Come on, join in. I'll bring the food. Oh, you don't. I've um, marked it on the menu, Dad. Hello, Golden Orient. I'd like a delivery. Uh huh. Five Orchid Avenue. One cocktail. Peking duck. Banana fritter. And uh, my daughter will have sweet and sour chicken. <laughs> crispy spring rolls. Fried rice, <laughs> chips, corn crackers, and a raspberry sundae. <laughs> uh, the name of the buzzer? Simpson. <laughs> Thanks. <coughs> Clock this place, man. What a dump. Leave her. Whiskey, my man. Only whiskey. Excellent. Right, boss. Five is up. Two bells. You gotta go to the church if you want some bells. <laughs> <laughs> You're a funny bastard, aren't you? <laughs> you should be in a comic. Fatty. This one's in me. Good. Whiskies. Mental. Why is that paraffin? Are you ripping the piss? That'll be the red eye. You're a red eye. 
your dick. <laughs> Here, you mate. Where'd you get your clothes? Clothes? Gotta go across the street if you want some clothes, English. <laughs> Do you look English? I thought... Never mind what you thought, you're right. Do we sound English? Did you hear us saying how to know a brown cow? <laughs> Hold on. Shut, Shut up. up. Rat that pish the new. Where's the Glasgow? Glasgow. <laughs> and so far, your tunes shite. <laughs> okay, well then. Morning, Mr. McDonald. Morning. It's never too early for a fusilier. 